friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I was actually looking at the weather earlier this week and I was like, Bunky, Saturday is gonna be so beautiful outside. It's like 59 degrees, pure sunshine, so it's not too warm, but warm enough to at least go outside and enjoy it. And I was like, let's cook something really yummy. So Bunky said he was really wanting some ribs. So we are smoking some ribs today. We're also smoking some chicken. I'm gonna make some crock pot macaroni and cheese, saute green beans and cornbread. So we are having a feast and I am so excited about it. So I figured I would just pick up the camera and bring you guys along with us today as we cook all of these things. So I hope you enjoy it. I know it's not a full what's for dinner, but I hope you kind of like just having one dinner if it's really, really good. And if this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. So before you leave, be sure you hit that red subscribe button so that you know anytime I post a new video and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more dinners like this. But let's go ahead and get cooked. Okay, so Bunky is getting his spice rub together for the ribs. I can kind of tell you guys what's in it. He says a few things are his secret ingredient. But we have some Lowry's, brown sugar, cumin. What are these two things be? Um, ground sage, cayenne pepper. You just put a ton of garlic powder in there. Paprika. Paprika. Black pepper. Cinnamon, chili powder. And we have never put this in there before. He may or may not put a sprinkle of that. And then there's two ingredients that are... Secret? Secret ingredients. You are They're so nothing crazy. special. They're, They're nothing special. Okay. They may not even add to the deliciousness of the rub. Can I put your rub? Um, can I like list it down below in the description box? Yeah. You yeah. want your secret ingredients? Is? No, not with the secret. <laughs> okay, so I will put Bunky's um ingredients down below in the description box for you guys. But he's gonna go ahead and make this and then um We'll rub down the ribs. We need to get them on or else we're going to be eating until 10 o'clock tonight. Mm-hmm. Got to hurry up. And we have some chicken. Chicken leg quarters. Yeah. You look handsome today. I love when you wear a baseball cap. Thank you, Bunky. <laughs> I like to stir this up before the brown sugar because the brown sugar is so much. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta put away the rest of the groceries. We went to the grocery store and then we came back and we're like, we got a cart bush is what we call it. Gotta get these ribs Which out. means you gotta hurry. <laughs> cart. Okay. How much brown sugar do you put in? Uh, in eight, eight? Eight tablespoons. I remember I'm that. Gonna, I'm not going to do eight this time. Why? Wow. Because this is like already so much, you know, just for that one. Like I probably should have. Cut in half? Yeah, but it'll be fine. I'd do at least six. Yeah, six. These are, plus these are, these are heaping tablespoons. <laughs> I can't let you be. Five. Bunky said usually he levels it, but he didn't today. No. Yeah, that's, that's probably still like eight, honestly. I'll start for you. Okay, so for Bunky's wood chips, we have a little bit of hickory, and then we have these apple ones, and he's just doing kind of a little mixture of both. And then I have them outside um, soaking in some water. Close your Bunky eyes. Is smoking me. Close your eyes, girl. Ooh. We're gonna put the big guy on the bottom. Oh yeah. How long do they say like that before you take him back out again? They're gonna hang out for three hours. Then you temp oil? And then I'm gonna wrap them in tinka. Oh! Ooh. I can't see them. I can't see them, my I eyes are burning! See. Oh, my eyes are burning! <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is this not coming out? 
uh, turn the nozzle, the top. Is that just apple cider vinegar or apple juice? It's the apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Why is this not working? This is critical to the mission, Bunky. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Crazy. It's not gonna work. I don't know what to do. Okay, again. We found another bottle. That's hopefully gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get smoked out again. Okay. Woo! Okay. Oh Lord. We're still failing over here. Update us on what we're doing. Getting the ribs out of the smoker. <laughs> it's been a few hours later now it's at this point. Three hours. Bunky's gonna cut the grass, took a shower, I just took a shower. We fresh. Dude's out here mowing his grass. Everybody is cutting their grass today. It's so pretty outside. It's 57 degrees here today, by the way, which I know is warm to a lot of you guys. Oh, Bunky, they look good. Oh, come here, you. I need a little spritz before we wrap them. Mm-hmm. Let me turn down the thing so you can see them good. Mm-hmm. Okay, tell us what's in here. Just apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar and what? And apple juice. And then where's the beer? Yeah, it's in here too now. Oh. It wasn't at first. I'm gonna give these a little I just mm. Okay. You ready? Yeah. It's not hot. <laughs> it really is. He's <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> so silly. Should I, put, should I spray them a little bit more? I would. Yeah. It's just this stupid thing leaks. It's really good. Make sure they stay a little moist. that right now. I know, like, don't you just, mm, no, you got can't touch it, can't touch it. Okay, so we got this chicken at Walmart as well, um, and it already had, like, this barbecue seasoning rub on it, so we're just gonna put a little bit more of our rub that we made this for, and we have some left over. We're gonna pop that on top, and then just put these in the smoker. Just lay them right in there. I don't think we're gonna foil them. Have you read how to do these yet? Not really, no. I'm, I'm gonna Google this. Yeah, Google. I mean, I did. It said, I read one thing that said to do it for just an hour, which is not long enough, in my opinion. Yeah. And then I read another one that was like, do it for like two hours. Uh-huh. So what? I think definitely two hours. Okay, tell me what it's called again. Chicken leg quarters. Chicken leg quarters. This is two hours. Yeah. Which I think is probably about right. Yeah. Because, well then, that's like an hour from now because those are still going to be on there for three more. Just a long time. I think we put them in there though. Like, they're not going to get overdone, right? I feel like these, because they have the skin on, it is going to be tough to overcook them. And they have the bone in them. Yeah. This is, okay, this is wrap the chicken quarters in foil and cook at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. No, we're at, we're at 222, between 2 and 225. So see, I think if you put them on now, they're going to be just perfect for however long. Really? You said that's 225? Yeah. Okay, Ish. I've had great luck with smoking the quarters for about 90 minutes at 225, then turning up the heat to about 300 to 325 for about 45 to 60 minutes. So I think like two to three hours is perfect, so let's get them going. Just straight smoking? Yeah. What? They actually smell good already. Oh, I was like, oh God, is it bad? No. <laughs> This one's a behemoth, though. Check out this guy. He's a what? Bunky, the camera is pointing down, you crazy man. Oh. <laughs> that's Bunky a... Bunky had the chicken leg up in the air trying to show y'all. This a... Oh, they're all... They're all huge. Look at all that fat on... Oh, my gosh. These things are going to be good. Yes, because the skin is my favorite part. And it's going to render down. Do you think I should drizzle a little olive or something? Honey? What'd you say? Olive. Honey? Bunky, look at spray all, them with your stuff. Look at all this fat right there. Holy crap. 
No, don't spray them yet. I would. I'll, no, do it after the fact. Then it's going to make all that get gloppy. Okay. Here's our leftover seasoning, by the way. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put some of that before I wrap the ribs up. It's okay. Oh, I forgot to put some more on there. I normally don't do that, but... Well, these are going to be incredible. I hope so. By the way, all of this food is not just for Monkey and I. We actually invited over all of our neighbors tonight, kind of like a spur of the moment Saturday night get together. Um, so they're all coming over and we're gonna share all this food with them. I was getting to thinking like, we never told you guys that and you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, there's like four huge chickens, a whole rack of ribs, crock pot mac and cheese, and it's just the two of us, but no, we're sharing with our friends. <laughs> so crazy. Oh. Let's put the, the fat part in the middle, yeah? Mm-hmm. We gotta hurry up. Oh, that's a little guy right there. There's a big old dude. He's got so much fat. That's huge. I'm gonna keep him draped over. Woo! You got it? I can help you. I got it. Bam. <laughs> Okay, I told you on Instagram that we had rearranged our living room, so I'll give you a little sneak peek. But I wanna finish it before I like show you the whole thing. But there's your sneak peek, I am loving it. Okay, so now that we have the ribs and the chicken back on, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the crock pot mac and cheese, just because it does take a few hours. Um, and I've made this one other time and you guys loved it. But if you have not made it yet, I'm telling you, this is the best crock pot macaroni and cheese ever. It's so simple and it is delicious. Bunky's mom makes it for like, every special occasion, holiday, my birthday. It is my favorite um, and it is just so yummy. So y'all are gonna love it. You're gonna have to try it and tell me what you think. But first things first, I need to get the water boiling and get the noodles on the oven, <laughs> on the stove top. Our entire box of cooked elbow noodles in our crock pot by the way I will put this recipe down below in the description box for you but you can either cook it on high for two to three hours or on low for three to four and then all that we are gonna put in this mac and cheese what are we putting in? one stick of butter, stick of butter. <laughs> um, you can choose whichever cheese you want we do like some sharp cheddar and then some Velveeta to make it really creamy and then three eggs and one can of evaporated milk salt and pepper that's it it's so simple and it's the best mac and cheese ever. Okay, I was gonna cut that up. I'm gonna start around. Okay. I did say evaporated milk, right? Hang on, let me look at the recipe. I think it's supposed to be sweet and condensed milk, bonk. It's supposed to be sweet and condensed milk. This is evaporated milk. Is that, this is the recipe your mom gave me. Okay. It is. This is what she gave me. All right. I, I believe you. Okay. Let me taste it. Does this call for any sugar? Oh, but you know what? I normally put a sprinkle of sugar in my baked mac and cheese, so I think we should put a sprinkle in here. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have evaporated milk. That is evaporated milk. I mean, sweetened condensed milk. Well, this is what she told me. This is her recipe. I don't, are you sure? Well, we need some sugar in here. Okay, I'm gonna put a sprinkle. Like, at least two tablespoons. No, that's crazy, baby. That's not even a lot. You crazy. No, Bunky, for real. I'm, no, I'm for real. I'm for real. Bunky, that is the recipe that she gave me. You, and, and I think she was incorrect when she told you that. That's plenty. Do one more. Oh my God. I'm not. trusting you. Look how much Half this is. Half of one. Half of one. That's not enough. Do more. No. Nope. I'm telling you. Bunky. Oh my gosh. That is what she told me you, and I'm sticking with you it. You're about to get on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. This butter is not mixing. That's why I was going to cut it up. 
This macaroni and cheese is a disaster. It's going to be good. Oh, there it goes. Look. We'll just stir it around a little bit. Should I stir in my egg? Not yet. Hold on. What? Is that cheese going here? Let's go ahead and put that cheese in while I'm like mixing it. Well, around. I want the Velveeta to go in the middle. We'll like. put, the, put the Velveeta in now. Okay. Okay, so our macaroni was not ruined at all. It was actually so yummy. The only thing that I did do, though, was add in a little bit more milk towards the end. I just feel like it was getting a little bit dry. And then I also topped it with a little bit more cheese towards the end. But other than that, it was so yummy. You guys have to try it. And like I said, I will leave the um, ingredients and the recipe down below in the description box for you. Okay, so now I'm going to start making my homemade barbecue sauce, which I think you guys have seen me make this like one other time, but it is so yummy. I do cheat and put a little bit of regular barbecue sauce in there, but to make it, I just start with like melting some butter and brown sugar together and then add in however much garlic you want. I do at least one big clove. Then I add in some ketchup, which we were almost out of, so I had to get the other bottle. Um, some yellow mustard, some Worcestershire, and hot sauce. A little bit of apple cider vinegar some fresh cracked black pepper and like I said some actual barbecue sauce we usually use um, sweet baby rays and it is so yummy you guys will have to try this I'm gonna do this one at a time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's your brush. Do you want to spray it first or no? Nah. Okay. No, or wait, this that, for the chicken? That was for the chicken okay. more so. Oh my. Wow, this is gonna be real hot. Yeah, it is. Maybe I should do this inside. I don't think you've ever done it out here. Well, I haven't, but I was trying to like, you know. Mm -hmm. They're gonna lose temperature out here. <laughs> They're already. That, wow, this is real hot. Look at all that color. I know. Mm. Ooh. Oh my! My God. feet are getting so cold. Monkey, look at that. Oh my gosh! That looks amazing. Ooh. Yes. Okay, it's awesome. Oh, I just licked my finger. Is that gonna be okay? Or am I gonna They're die? They're cooked. You sure? Yeah, they're cooked. But my feet are cold. All right, well. <clears throat> Put some of Bunky's special sauce on it. Yeah, just lay it, layer it, lay it on there. That is some good barbecue are we, are sauce. Are we gonna put some of this on the chicken too? Yeah. In a little bit? Mm-hmm. Is that good, you think? Uh-huh. It's just so, the ribs, that's so wet still. It's so steamy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm about to take a chunk out of them things. Where are you going to take a chunk to? <laughs> My belly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that good, do you think? Yeah. I guess you can like sauce it. Monkey, that is plenty of sauce. I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the ends um, of my green beans and go ahead and wash them. That way, whenever it's closer to time, all I have to do is throw them in my pan. I'm just going to throw them in there with a little bit of olive oil and garlic. I do a little bit of soy sauce, Parmesan cheese at the end, and they are so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start preparing these.
Okay, so for my green beans, I just add a little bit of butter and olive oil to my pan, then toss in my green beans, and of course top them with some salt and pepper. Then I do a big clove of freshly minced garlic and a splash of soy sauce. If you guys have never tried green beans with soy sauce, you have to try it. It gives them so much flavor. Then I'll let these cook down, and when they're almost done, I'll top them with some Parmesan cheese. Best green beans ever. And then we made some cornbread muffins as well, and we added in some pickled jalapenos and cheddar cheese and those were delicious like i love me some cornbread and then y'all look at this mac and cheese i mean it is like heavenly oh my dear heavens Thank you. B, that looks so good. Get out of there. <laughs> and here is the true test. Eight hours on the smoker. I mean, come they on look now. Good. Come on now. Your hand's getting in my shot. I don't even know why I'm. Why, what am I doing? Just put them down flat. Oh, yes. I so want to film you. <laughs> just do it. Do it. Get her real quick. Because <laughs> I probably have you don't, roots you don't, in my teeth. You, you don't. Just do it. Oh. But I guess I'll pull that away for just a... <laughs> well, you, you took half the chicken leg. I mean, you left it behind. Hey. With its own little hey. bone. Now, it's that. <laughs> Bunky. <laughs> Is it good? Girl. Clearly. I'm good. <laughs> I think you. Uh, I'm gonna hold this to myself. I think you have a little leftover. Right here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, it's good. <laughs> Alright, my friends, that's what's for dinner tonight. All right, y'all, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun cooking with Bunky and I. This meal is one of my favorite things. It was so delicious, so I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so very much. Be sure you subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.